Hey guys, Brad M73 here, and uh, we are back with Star Wars Build the Millennium Falcon. Um, I am Brad M73, if I didn't mention that already. I have a very short term memory, not really. Um, <laughs> but um, we've got issue 18 now, and um, as you can see, there's not really a whole lot um, happening this issue. We've got some more sprues. Uh, some more rings uh, to assemble here, so we'll get uh, on to doing that. Um, I think this is these are going to be for the uh, corridor arches going to the cockpit area, so um, we have that. We've got another uh, little joining piece here. We've got some uh, more of the little black machine screws in here and uh there there is a piece of uh, framing hiding under there i promise you and then we also have our first piece of the the plastic hull jig i guess is what i was what i'll call it for right now um so i'm gonna set that aside for just a second we're gonna take a look at the issue um we have uh the tantiev or tantev tantive four interior layout uh, this was the uh, the shuttle. It was Princess Leia's shuttle, I believe. Um, there we see Princess Leia. Uh, some early design work. Hello. Uh, the escape pods. Uh, let's see. Sectors of the galaxy. Uh, looks like we have some things. Uh, I think this was a character from the Clone Wars, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's been a while since I've watched that series. It was a pretty good, better than I'd expected it to be. Um, but we've got the sectors here, um, sector armies, and some more information. Um, I think this is mainly prequel stuff, but I'm not sure. I haven't really read through it yet. Um, <clears throat> what's really cool is this issue, um, you know, for all of you Falcon historians, this actually has a lot of information on obviously the Falcon's upgrades. It's something that's pretty cool to uh, look through. Um, another thing I want to note, and down at the bottom corner of issue seven of, issue, or I'm sorry, page seven of issue 18, there's actually a, um, a backdrop that was originally painted uh, with the Millennium Falcon uh, on the ground with, uh, I believe, Luke's X-Wing. Um, unfortunately, it was never used, um, but I thought that would be kind of a cool thing to point out. Um, I've looked around, and I can't actually find like a full-size image of this. So <clears throat> check that out. You might have to get a magnifying glass uh, to, to look at that. But it actually looks pretty cool, um, and I wish I had a bigger... I wish they had like a full-page uh, print of that. Uh, we also have um, some additional... Uh, details uh, regarding the armor plating and all the different things uh, that uh, you know tell us about how the internal uh, configuration was laid out. So we've got that here, and with a few cutaways, I'm going to assume if we look here, um, there is a large area that's cut away as well as a cutaway to the uh, Falcon cockpit passage i am guessing that our final model kit might look somewhat similar to this now i don't know about these panels because we've got the missile racks in here i don't know if any of these other things are going to be removable would be kind of cool um, if we do because like back here we've got another small room that we could build out i just don't see that happening for this model kit i'm going to keep my fingers crossed i just don't see it happening it would be really super cool, but I just don't see it. But um, that would be kind of a neat thing to be, you know, looking forward upon if uh, if that's actually the way that we're going. I just don't think so. So again, we have um, our corridor pieces. We've got our assembly, you know, first piece of assembly jig. Um, we have the first uh, four sections of the. Uh, framing will be complete this issue um it says you have completed one third of the complete disc well it says you now have one third of the complete disc so that's pretty cool so we have a third of that um, i think by probably the mid 30s or maybe even uh around issue 40 i would expect the um 
the whole bottom hull to be completed. Hopefully before that, but I don't know. Because if let's let's say if we take forty issues to do the bottom and another forty to do the top, you know that only leaves us twenty issues to do the mandibles and all the side pieces and everything in between. So I don't know, but uh, I guess I'm sure we can probably pull that off. Um, here's the piece that we got in the last episode. Um, it says, let's see, this is the correct orientation. Press the lugs into the holes, blah, blah, blah. Um, and don't screw anything down. And assemble the corridor arches, which we will do in this episode. Um, it also talks a little bit more about the underside detail. So um, we'll go into this. Uh, looks like where the lower gun turret would be is where they actually had the mounting uh, for you know filming use. So... Um, we'll have that. So let's go ahead and open up the issue. I'm going to set this aside for right, for right now. And we'll go ahead and open this up to see what we've got. Uh, we'll put this over top of issue 17, which I have not <laughs> haven't even moved that. Um, And we'll just pull that out. Nothing is in there, so I'll set the bag aside for right now. Ready for the circular file. We've got the corridor arch pieces there, and we've got our piece of framing. I'm just going to go ahead and pop that out, since we will be installing that. And we'll throw that little baggie away. We'll throw our little piece of paper away that we get with each episode. And again, we have um, the first piece of the jig. Um, I was kind of surprised that the little pads are supposed to be little pads that we're going to put in here eventually. Um, those aren't included. Um, it's too small to set anything on, and I'm not even sure. Well, looking at the orientation here um, is going to be uh, kind of something more along the lines of for, for these pieces, like so. Um, even though this, I believe, I'm pretty sure this is a, supposed to be a top piece, but that will, you know, kind of fit in there like that somehow. Um, so, but, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to set th this back aside and I will set this piece aside and, um, let's go ahead and, uh, we'll frame up this little p piece right here and, um, I think this is going to go right like that. So we're only going to use three screws. So it looks like we'll have oh, one extra. There's four in there. I thought there were five at first. So I'll just tear that open. We will push out three little screws there. We've got our joiner piece again. Pop that out. Come on. Throw that little baggie away. And let's get the screw in. <laughs> okay, that wasn't creepy at all or anything. Uh, all right. So back thread that. And pull that up into place there. I'm not going to over tighten it yet. Here we have this hull framing piece to set aside. And again, I'm going to kind of look and see what I think the flatter side is. Lay that edge down. And um, just pick up these screws here. And eh, I don't want to screw those down all the way because uh, the little piece tends to turn there. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Nice and tight, nice and tight there, and nice and tight there. Okay, so yeah, we've got a complete third. It's nice and solid there. I mean, it's really, I don't want to flex this too much, but um, I still am impressed with how, you know, this piece stiffens up. And again, we have our additional piece over here which will go on there like that. 
And um, I I think we actually, by I- issue 20, I think we'll actually have the whole... Excuse me. Golly, I'm like burping and everything. Um, <laughs> uh, I think we'll have uh, three more pieces to go here by issue 20. So um, that's not... that's you know just going to be probably next week when i do those two issues uh, or i don't know I, i'll have to i'll have to kind of see um how my next subscription package uh sh- since i should be getting 21 through 24 probably within the next week and a half to two weeks i'm hoping um they're supposed they were saying they were supposed to get a shipment in around like august 8th or 9th um which i think is this weekend so or early next week possibly i'm not sure i don't know my calendar in front of me but um, so those, I hope to get uh, the next shipment of those by the end of next week. So, yeah. Another thing I'd like to point out is there's these two really big, largely threaded holes here and here. And I'm going to guess that that's going to have something to do with the f- either, either the support, like t- tying the bottom to the top piece, maybe, or perhaps... Um, you know, fitting the hold in place because this should sit in here something like this with the uh, the other tube coming around like this. And I can't really put it in place because it is going to be elevated somewhat like up here probably. So I don't know. It's uh, It's getting interesting though. Uh, So let's set this part aside for right now, and we shall get on to the corridor rings. So I will need my super glue for that, which, where's my super glue? Where are these things? I (laughs) I can't believe I'm moving all this stuff. And uh, not remembering where I'm putting it. Oh, there it is. It it fell down earlier. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so we've got that. We've got... Oh, got a little extra tear there. that little piece in there and I'm gonna set that right there so I can throw it away later um, and then I'm just gonna get the uh, little piece for issue 18 right here <clears throat> I'm gonna use that to set um, the uh, super glue on I'm gonna get a toothpick here and I'm just gonna snap the end off because I don't need the full thing so I'll put that in this little, maybe like my miniature trash bag there. And um, we can get started. And I will, now this one actually seems to have a pretty good wash, where this one doesn't even really look like it's been washed at all. So uh, we'll have to go, definitely have to go back over one of these rings with a good wash. So um, I'm just going to time lapse through this. Uh, and uh, so enjoy the time lapse. So there we go, guys. We have completed. Set that aside. So I've already got enough super glue on my fingers. Uh, 
So I'm going to have to go get that off here uh, pretty soon. So we've got the uh, two arches um, finished. So we've got two more. We'll have one more to go for the next portion of tubing. And then I think we might have one or two more left for the small corridor that comes out of the other side of the hull. And aside from that, um, I think we're pretty much done with these types of corridor arches. Um, so we've only got a few more of these to go and then we'll be done with these. And, um, and then we'll just have to wait and see what the future holds. So um, that pretty much brings a conclusion to issue 18. Um, while I was doing the little time lapse there, we had a little power fluctuation. So I'm not sure if there's a storm brewing outside or not, um, but uh, who knows. So um, I'm going to get off of here and get all my stuff shut down so that uh, I don't get any, you know, nothing gets fried. So thanks again for watching. Uh, we'll see you back for issue 19. I'm Brad M73. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and please subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.